to Jamaica, followed by Cuba. Mr. President, Jamaica wishes to commend the Council for summarizing the magnitude of the challenges faced by member states in maintaining immunization coverage. Furthermore, providing this comprehensive report on the strategic framework for strengthening national immunization programs and revitalizing immunization as a public good for universal health is welcomed. Jamaica notes and endorses the recommendations posited. There is a strong political and technical commitment to immunization in Jamaica as evidenced by the full integration in our public health system, as well as a public-private partnership, especially as it relates to vaccine supply and data collection. Technical cooperation is required to craft a strong legislative framework that facilitates high vaccination coverage across the life course, address root causes of vaccine hesitancy with audience-specific targeted interventions identify strategies that will foster greater public trust and confidence, have system redundancies that can be activated when there is a disruption of services as seen in the COVID-19 pandemic, model and forecast disease trends, build research capacity within country and improve vaccine waste management. COVID-19 has highlighted the inequities between vaccine producing and non-vaccine producing countries, resulting in small member states unable to access vaccines in a timely manner. We encourage that the established umbrella partnership model, building on multilateral collaboration is revised to be more responsive and effective. Cost still remains a barrier in some countries and a review is needed of the cost of some vaccines that prohibits member states from a universal introduction of new vaccines into the routine immunization program. Again, Jamaica congratulates the Council and supports the proposed activities. Thank you.